Hi, Bob Thompson for Smartphone Matters. Today I want to show you how to check to see if you can use your smartphone with TrackPhone's Verizon network. A couple of people have asked me how to do this, so I thought I'd make a video and show you how. Start by visiting trackphone.com. You can find the link in the video description or in my article on Smartphone Matters. I'll choose Phones and BYOP, then click Bring Your Own Phone. Scroll down, click Check Compatibility, click Verizon Compatible Phone. Enter your zip code. TrackPhone will use your zip code to make sure that they have service on the Verizon network in your area. Next, you'll need to enter your phone's serial number or IMEI. You can find this number by dialing star pound zero six pound on your phone. It's a long number, so make sure you enter it carefully. I'm gonna enter the IMEI of my iPhone success. I've hidden my IMEI for security. Click continue. Now you'll see it says my phone is compatible and then it lists the remaining steps to bring my phone to track phone. At this point, you can continue with register and activate if you're going to sign up. Track phone will send you the SIM free of charge. If your Verizon phone doesn't use a SIM, you should be able to complete the activation with just a few more steps. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you enter the IMEI for an AT&T phone that is not compatible with the Verizon network to the IMEI. Click continue, and you'll see the message, we are unable to process your transaction at this time. Please contact our customer care center. Now I wanna show you this one last time. I'm gonna enter the IMEI for my iPhone 6. My iPhone 6 is compatible with the Verizon network, but for some reason, trackphone.com says I need to call customer care to activate the phone. Click continue, and you'll see now it's showing me my phone is compatible, but I have to contact customer service to get the phone registered. I'm not sure why that is. Now the IMEI for the iPhone 6 that I just entered is currently active on the Verizon network. I don't know if that makes a difference, but for some reason they want you to contact customer service. And you can do that by calling the 800 number that they show on the screen, or you can send them an email. I have the uh, email address in my article over on Smartphone Matters. You can find the link to the article in the video description. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you found it useful, give it a like on YouTube. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to the Smartphone Matters YouTube channel. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them below, or better yet, head on over to my article on Smartphone Matters. Thanks for watching.